how far is too far when it comes to trying to correct a body part you don't like? Some people say our first guest has gone way too far, and he's being called the human Ken doll. My name is Justin. I'm 32 years old, and I've had 90 cosmetic procedures. I've had cranial brow bone shave, brow lift, I've had five rhinoplasties, cheek augmentation, lip augmentation, chin augmentation, buttock augmentation, pec implants, bicep implants, tricep implants. I've spent about $100,000 on my cosmetic procedures thus far. I did my primary rhinoplasty when I was 18, but it was really something that set me apart and validated me, and I felt so euphoric. I've always been into plastic surgery just because it's an extension of me being creative. To, in essence, treat myself as though I was my own sculpture, my own artwork. There's always the potential for something to go wrong. But those risks are pretty nominal. I'm willing to accept these risks, but I don't think anything worthwhile in life comes without taking risk. I don't think I'd ever be done. I don't see a reason for stopping. It's like asking Picasso not to paint. Justin joins us today. Justin, thanks for being here. I, I have to ask you, because we were talking about your story before you came out. You're being called the human Ken doll. Do you like that? Is that a, do you like being called that? Yeah, I guess I don't mind. I mean, the Ken for kids is uh, sort of like the male aesthetic of beauty. I guess in that sense, yeah, sure, it's a compliment. I mean, I mean clearly you're getting a lot of attention. Do you enjoy that? Of course, I love the attention. I mean, I guess it's, it's positive and negative on, on both sides, but the overwhelming response from most of the people who contacted me directly has been positive. I mean, people said I've, I've given them the strength to come forward and go ahead and uh, do the surgeries that they wanted to do and also pose new innovations to procedures that they didn't even know were available. How many total have, have you had done? Like, just in terms of... If we go over procedures, we're at 90 to 100 procedures, but surgically, as far as where I've gone under anesthesia, I'm at 11. 11 so full on procedures. And some of the body things you have, I mean, you know, I'm trying to lift my butt all the time just sure. by doing crunches and stuff. Oof. You didn't want to try to just work out? No, I mean, I've done that, and it doesn't inhibit me from continuing to want to go ahead and work out. I can still do that with my implants. They just uh, allow me a more athletic base to start out with. You know, you've been fortunate. This many surgeries, you haven't had run into any complications, any problems, but. These, this many implants in your body, you're a young guy, that's a lot of implants down the line that potentially could get infected, they could move. Why would they get they're, they're, You're a on. thin guy, no all these implants you. are putting pressure oh, on your skin. So, you know, I'm sure your doctors pointed that out to you as, as potential downsides of doing all this surgery, but since we're all here together, I, I, I hope you can tell us that for now, you're done. I'm not done. No, why would I, why would I, why would I not do what my, what my passion is, what my hobby is? I, I, I will continue to change myself. It's like redecorating your home. You know? okay. Your house changes with you, right? <laughs> well, no, I, this is my analogy. You travel around the world, you bring things back with you. My ideal of beauty has changed from when I was 18 versus now when I'm 32 because I've exposed myself to different cultures, to different people, and been able and to travel. So of course my ideal of beauty has, has modified through the years. There does come a point where human tissue yeah. Human bone structure, you can cross a threshold, and I'm not going to name celebrities' names, but I think we all know people who went too far, and they've lost the structure of their nose to the point where they no longer had the tissue to work with. And that's the concern, is there could come a point, right, right Dr. Gordon, where well, there's no turning back. That, that's, that's exactly the, the point that, that I made, and, and, and when that point that. comes, then you may be left with really severe <laughs> deformities that are going to be, if not impossible, very difficult. To change but a reputable doctor is not going to operate to that point. They, they would just tell you no. My doctors wouldn't allow me to go to a place that, that would cause me long-term harm. You know, in the end, we've always said on the show that when it comes to self-expression, that's an individual okay. choice. We just hope sure. that you yeah. do it smartly. Mm -hmm. Justin, thanks for joining us. Thank and you. Let's move on from plastic surgery.